yeah welcome to playwright series so today we will discuss about the uh, test generator in playwright okay so playwright come with default test generation capabilities okay when you install the playwright it comes with some tool like codegen so that will help you to generate a test for you and it is best way to get started writing your playwright test okay so on the screen if you see my uh, we have this form and it has some controls and we'll try to automate these and let's see how the code generator help so code generator will uh, take care of uh, the built in locator also if it if it need to prioritize role text uh, id locator so it will take care and if it find multiple elements also with same attributes it will try to identify the um, unique locator okay so let's start and see like how to generate a test in vs code so i'll just copy this url okay copy this url minimize and let's go to visual studio code okay and in visual studio code uh, you can run command like npx okay npx playwright and instead of test i'll write code gen okay code gen and then you can pass your url so even if you don't provide the https that's also fine so let me also remove so this is the application which we want to record and that's it hit enter so what uh, it will do if you see here it opened the uh, one page and the right side if you see uh, it is coming with this pop up window and this is nothing but the test generated code gen okay and in this one it imported also the playwright test it created simple test also with navigation and after we navigate let's say i want to type something in the test box because if you see on the right side the recording is already started and there are more controls also we'll talk about that also uh, in the meanwhile so let me type here so let's say if i clicked here so you see the click is happen and it identify locator also so let me type uh, robotic qa and press tab you see tab is also captured and text area i'll type welcome to playwright code gen and this is what it is doing on the right side let me i want to click on this uh, button and once it clicked on button i want to verify this text okay so um let's move to other controls available here so now you are able to see right we can perform any action and the uh, this uh, playwright inspector will record all these steps here for you okay and later you can modify if you don't want this tab so you can just remove that manually and okay you can add this code into the vs code now i want to add assertion right i want to verify this test so there is a icon so if you see here if you just hover on this icon you will see this is a uh, assert assert text okay so just click on this and select your text and you have to this is the your expected text you can type here okay and once it is done i think let me show on the right side you will get icon click on this icon accept and that's it so you see the assertion is added here expect page uh take to to contain text and this is my expected text okay that's how you can add a text ex assertion now uh, there are like different things let's say i want to check if uh, the radio button is checked or not so for that also we have the option available assert value click on assert value select on this uh, check box and you see uh, this added the assertion the check box not to be checked okay not to be checked or if it is uh, uh, you want to see if it is checked or not again click on this okay and select the selected radio button okay let me see again and it added to be checked okay so you can do the text assertion also if it is radio button uh, you can do assert value you have snapshot also let's say i want to do the snapshot assertion for uh, the link 
okay you click here and you see the snapshot assertion is added okay this locator to match aerial snapshot so it will match this aerial snapshot okay that is there again we have a pause option also if you want to pause it if you want to step over okay and on right side you have the different color themes so if you want to go to dark mode or light mode you have that option available okay and uh, hmm, so there is a locator pick functionality also so if you want to pick the locator so you just click on this one arrow okay pick locator and it will find the locator for any element okay so as you hover you see as a tool tip it is showing okay get by role link name equal to selenium base dot io i want locator for this checkbox see it is finding using the css locator like iframe if i go to drop down it is finding this by id okay this is again get by role so uh, the this test generator is very smart and it will prioritize which locator to pick and it will select the locator and you see uh, on the top itself you have the stop recording pick locator and uh, add aerial snapshot add text assertion value assertion different options are available okay so let me stop this recording uh okay so i stop this uh, recording now i can use this code in my um, uh, vs code also i can use this code inside my vs code also so let me stop this also create a new file uh sele oh okay so form dot spec dot ts empty spec file and just paste it okay so let's say i don't want this click okay because directly i can just type the text i don't want to press tab you can remove that okay i don't want to click on this one so remove that and that's it so your test is ready and if you just run this test also it will work okay so this test is generated by the test generator now i will type here npx playwright test and the file name form dot spec dot ts and if i run this one you see the test is running okay test is running and it is passed okay so let me run in headed mode so i add the parameter hyphen hyphen headed because playwright by default run in headless mode so now if you see it is navigating to the website and it perform all the steps very quickly and it executed now let me open the report so that you can see the output also now you see that this is the test inside this you have all the steps like you are filling the robotic qa uh, welcome to play right session okay and there are assertion also expect assertion so all are added here okay so uh, the code gen is able to generate a script for you okay and we have found uh, we can get the locator also using the, the code gen okay so now move it, move to next uh, concept which is a emulation okay you want to test the site but in different viewport okay in different viewport how it will look like right so for that i will use the uh, npx playwright code gen and the website but after code gen let me add view port size viewport size and equal to in a double quote you can provide a size let's say uh 500 comma 500 and uh enter okay so this time it will open in a different viewport and you see test to use viewport it is added here and uh, we can record the script also let me type here put robotic qa i'll this time i'll select value from drop down, how to select value from drop down okay and this click also i don't need it and now uh how to run only this test case uh, for that let me check here it is importing so import is already done above so we'll just remove this and if i want to run only this test i will put here only or if you want to run both the test cases you can keep as it is okay so let me terminate and run this test case and let's see how it run is it running inside a same viewport or not okay what is the error uh, the error we are getting at test okay so let's see what is this because the test name is same so i'll change it to one two three 
and run it again okay and now you see whatever the port we recorded viewport in the same viewport it executed the test case also so let me run it again and you can see this is the viewport okay in this size like we have recorded the script and in same viewport it executed the uh, script also okay so so this is one point in emulate viewport size uh, let's talk about the how to emulate device also so there is option you can emulate the device as well so for that one i'll just take the same command again but this time instead of this viewport size i'll change it to uh, devices hyphen hyphen devices okay device not devices and in double quote we will pass the device let's say i'll pass iphone iphone uh, 13 okay iphone 13 and let me click on run and this time uh, the test generator or this code gen will open inside the iphone 13 view so you see how it is uh, able to emulate in the iphone 13 viewport let me write here robotic QA robotic QA uh, then select some radio button uh, click on some link and you see the script is recorded let me select all copy the script and close this window and here i will paste it okay here i will paste it so import it is copying every time so you don't need it so devices is not found so we have to import the devices okay and that's it so your test is ready let me comment out other test cases and we will run only this test okay and let's see this click is not required uh, for me i'll just remove it and let's see npx playwright test and file name okay form dot spec dot ts hyphen hyphen headed so we are running in the headed mode so that we can see the execution also uh, okay so what happened npx playwright test headed so it executed uh, this test and let me open the report and the report also you will see it here okay so these are the actions we perform on this uh, uh, emulator okay let me run it again okay it is running it is opening also but uh, in the background if you see you see it it opened the window also but uh, it is running very fast let me bring it again and you see the view it is running very fast so you are not able to see the uh, ui okay so that's about the uh, device simulations we can use different devices also uh, let's see like uh, the color theme also you can use okay so what color theme means i'll show you so we have a, a different uh, okay so i want to change the page theme actually if my page is showing in the white background i want to change it to dark theme actually and see how we can do that so we will pass the npx playwright okay code gen hyphen hyphen color scheme and then uh, the website so this is the website i'm passing and you see the background is black here right so it is a black theme actually okay black theme now let me provide uh, change it and uh, provide the light theme here l i g s t light and this time it will open the code gen also uh, to record it and you see the color scheme is set to light okay and we can test on this uh, um, schema also like the light theme okay so this is one another option which i would like to show okay mm. and there is a custom recording also okay there is a uh, custom step also we can record mm. so let me go i have created that file uh, already so if you see here i am created uh, some test block inside that make sure the to run in headed so that i am passing the flag also headless false creating the new context using the route actually here 
and then I'm creating page and page dot pause. So in this case, what will happen? I don't need to uh, I don't need to pass the uh, code gen in the command line. You just write npx playwright test. Okay, if you want, you can pass headed. That's it, and it will open the code gen also. So for you, easy. It is like custom one, and after this one, you can start uh, recording your uh, script. Okay, see it opened also, and you can start recording your script. So there is a continue option, step over, pause. Okay, different options are there. So in this also, you can go to page and you can perform the action. Okay. I hope uh, this is also helpful okay so I'll provide the link for these commands in the video description so you can go to the video descriptions and you will find all the commands which I use in this video so thanks for watching so don't forget to subscribe I'll be uploading more videos on the playwright in this series thank you